Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, oh, first things first, let's just let's just address the elephants in the room, shall we? So, the first one is my hair. Well, the only one is my hair. It's first off, it's curly, it's big. I know, I know. I'm trying to embrace the natural natural look minus you know my makeup <laughs> yes this is my natural hair you guys i have very very curly frizzy hair and surprisingly today is actually a pretty good hair day it's a little frizzy right here in the front but for the most part it's not looking too bad i'm pretty happy with it also the next elephant with my hair my hair is no longer purple you guys i know crazy right it literally lasted i think like a month <laughs> <laughs> and then I quickly changed my mind and was ready to go back to the black hair. This is just, this is me. I love the purple, don't get me wrong, but I think it was just a little bit too edgy for me and my personality. I, yeah, like I, I loved it, but it wasn't for my everyday. I just couldn't get into it. It would clash with my clothes. Like I felt like I could only wear black. So I had to just go back to what I know and black is it for me you guys I feel like me again so um yes this happened and then since I've put so much color in my hair I had to bleach the end of my hair you guys in order to get that like va va voom in your face purple so um my hair is very according to my hairdresser my hair is very stressed right now I'm trying to commit to not putting any heat in my hair for the next three months Hopefully I can do that. But that's my goal. You guys are going to be seeing a whole lot of this within the next three months. So enjoy it. So that being said, I'm going to be doing a lot of curly hair tutorial videos. And like what I do to style my curly hair. What products I use. What like techniques I use. So if you are one of my curly hair girls out there, I got you. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss those videos and hit the notification bell as well. I'm really excited to film this video because you guys, I pride myself on smelling good. Like if anyone and when anyone ever does walk into my apartment, the first thing, the first thing they always say is wow, your place smells really good. And guess what? It sure does. And I take pride in that because scents are something that is so important to me. And I feel like I've always had like a really like intense nose. Like I feel like I can like smell smells more than like the average person. I don't know. Like I've just always really been into like really good smelling things. So I, hmm. I know my way around a Bath and Body Works, okay? I made sure to get fully restocked before we did this video. So I was waiting for this sale and it finally just came. So I have all of my favorite candles to talk about. So let's just, let's get into my favorite scents. So I have eight candles total to talk about that are my favorite for this time of year. And really like across the board, there's some that are missing. I mean, I know, not really, not really. Some of these are ones that are just holiday candles that I only burn in the holidays. And then a lot of them are other candles that I burn all year round, like all the time that I'm obsessed with. So I always stock up whenever they have this sale happening. So I definitely did that. I think I got like two of everything, but I'm just gonna talk about my favorite ones and the ones that I burn all year round. The first one I wanna talk about is one of my favorites. I actually have it burning right now over there in the corner and it is the Marshmallow Fireside Candle. Love this scent. I'm so bad at describing scents, you guys. So let me just say that, like full disclosure right now. I'm gonna be reading what is like the, the fragrance notes that are in all of these and I'm gonna try and describe what I think of when I smell it. But for the most part, I'm going to be relying on the description because I suck at providing a description for scents. If you are not a fan of sweet scents, you will not like this because it is very, very sweet. I mean, it's marshmallow fireside, like, hello. But I am a big fan of sweet things. I don't like like super, 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 super sweet. This is definitely sweet, but I feel like it's bearable for me. Well, it's more than bearable, I love it. So so if you don't like sweet scents, then you I wanna stay away from this because it is very much on the sweet side. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just describe the, 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 the fragrance notes, thank you. <laughs> so it is a toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla and crystallized amber with essential oil oh my god 
gosh that sounds amazing so yeah this one is definitely up there for me I don't think I have a favorite like specific one out of all of these but this one is it's up there Definitely a player. The next candle that I really, really love for the Christmas time and this time of year is called Tis the Season. I love this candle. It just smells like spices and like cinnamon and just like Christmas in a candle. Like literally December in a candle. Like I just... Oh, this is literally what you want your house to smell like when it is Christmas time. So I definitely recommend this if you are into those kinds of scents. It has, um, okay, the fragrance notes are really easy. It's rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. And it definitely smells just like that. It has a very intense cinnamon smell, which I love. Like I'm super into cinnamon, super into apple. And I guess I like the cedar wood too because... Mm. So now that it's officially December, I can actually crack this thing open and light her up because it smells amazing. This is it for me when it comes to, to, to Christmas. The next one that I really love, and I really love the packaging that they did. They totally changed it up for this candle. I wish they had more scents in this packaging. I would have totally probably gotten them all like this. Like the little cap is just so pretty. Like... Okay, I like it. I love the teal. Um, but how about I tell you guys? Tell you guys. Tell you guys. Great. Well, now I have glass everywhere. <laughs> Great. I'm glad, you know what? I'm happy that happened on camera. Seriously, like give you guys a nice little laugh I'm over here. Like love the packaging, love the packaging. And I just, and I freaking break it. Good jobby men. So, um, I'm just gonna take a minute to clean that up. I'll be right back. Well, on to the ne next candle. So the next candle that I've been really into these days is called Philanol. I actually just discovered this in my last, excuse me, in my last trip to Bath and Body Works. They had this guy out there and they actually had it lit and I smelled it and I was like, oh my gosh. It reminds me of like Hollister. Like, it doesn't smell exactly like Hollister, but it definitely reminds me of that, like, musty, like, smoldery smell. It kind of reminds me of mahogany teak wood, which is another scent, which, let me not get ahead of myself, which is one of my favorite scents that is also from Bath and Body Works. But it just reminds me, it has, like, that kind of, like, that masculine smell, you know what I mean? Where it smells kind of like a guy, which I love. Like, I love kind of cologne scented candles. I am super into that. Like, love that. And this definitely gives me those vibes. The fragrance notes for this candle is Fresh Bear... All right, first of all, I don't even know how to say this. Fresh Bear... Bergamot? Bergamot? It's B-E-R-G-A-M-O-T. Fresh ber bergamot. Fresh bergamot. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> um, hair, her, fuck, I cannot pronounce any of this. Herloom mahogany soft musk with essential oil. So yeah, definitely on the musky side of like the scent world, I guess. I love it. It smells like a guy in it. It's comforting. I don't know. Something about that is just like super comforting. I guess because maybe I don't have a guy. <laughs> the next one I want to mention is also one that I recently just discovered in my last trip to Bath and Body Works. And it is the Welcome Home Candle. I'm sure you guys have heard a lot about this guy. He's quickly become a favorite of like a lot of YouTubers, I feel like. Specifically Jocelyn Hill. If you guys, you guys know I am like obsessed with her. But this is, this is definitely not something that I can burn all the time. It's something that I can probably stand for like... Like maybe 20 minutes <laughs> it's it's a very like buttery rich smell i don't know like that's that's kind of what i get i love the packaging for this i love the white like bottle or whatever this is called <laughs> uh with the black cap in the front it's just so cute excuse my little my little nub i broke my nail <laughs> I'm a nub again. But anyways, fragrance notes for this is cinnamon sugar, warm apple butter. Yep, I knew I smelled some butter in there. Uh, clove buds, brown sugar with essential oils. So yeah, it definitely, it's, it's sweet, but it's not like too overpowering sweet. But I feel like I just get like more of the butter and cinnamon sugar more than anything. Oh, and also the brown sugar too. 
I can definitely smell the brown sugar in there. Out of all of the candles that I got, this will probably be my least favorite just because I this isn't a smell that I can like smell all day long. I do still love this candle, don't get me wrong, but this isn't a candle that I can burn all the time. A lot of these candles that I've mentioned, well, flannel, I definitely can't burn all the time either because that kind of will give me a headache after a while. I can definitely burn marshmallow fireside. I can burn that all day long, like literally will never give me a headache but this after a while is kind of like okay let's uh let's put you out because it can be a little bit too much sometimes um but yeah that's just me the next candle that i am super into these days is the vanilla snowflake i'm not really crazy about the the packaging on this one but you know what i love the scent so it's okay as you guys can tell like i'm super into anything like vanilla based smell like anything that's like vanilla and lavender i'm like so into you have no idea it's like a very light it's it's much lighter than this, <laughs> this little sorry candle over here this is definitely a more intense vanilla, and this is, I would say, like, kind of very light. It definitely smells, like, very French vanilla-y. It's subtle. It's not, like, too overpowering. It's not too sweet. It is definitely sweet, but it's not, like, marshmallow fireside where it's, like, super, super sweet, but I kind of love that super sweet. The fragrance notes for this is frozen vanilla, iced fur needles, mint leaf, coconut flakes with essential oils. I did not smell coconut. That's so crazy. Okay um iced iced fur needles like what what does iced fur needles even smell i guess it smells like this but okay on to the next scent that i just discovered um not too long ago actually and it is the frozen lake scent um at first i did not really like this when i smelled it in the store and then i went to like you know how they have like the same candle but like different packaging i picked up the same scent but it had like a different packaging so i didn't realize it was the same one and i smelt it and then i really liked it so it was very misleading in the beginning i'll be honest i was not a fan and then i smelt it again in the store and i was like hold on this smells really good i really really like this scent it smells like very it's okay so i'm scared to use this word because it doesn't totally smell like that but it smells fresh without smelling fresh if that kind of makes sense like when i think fresh i think like linens and like like i don't know like super clean and it doesn't smell like that but it smells like fresh air but like scented fresh i don't know i don't know how to describe it but it kind of like has kind of like a minty but it doesn't have a minty I don't know. I really don't know how to describe it. It smells really freaking good, okay? It smells really good. So the fragrance notes for this is lavender leaves, cool eucalyptus, ooh, okay, so that's what the mint that I was smelling, and jun juniper berries with essential oils. Okay, that kind of, that justifies me a little bit more. It's good. It's really good. So the last candle that I have to talk about is one of my favorites, but it is also one of those that like too much of it can definitely be a little overpowering and kind of give me a little bit of a headache, but I am so obsessed with it at the same time, if that kind of makes sense. And it is the mahogany teakwood scent. I love this. This is also one of those candles that smells like a man, it gives me those Hollister Abercrombie fetch kind of vibes, like a cologne. Oh, it just smells like a super sexy man to be honest with you like like a fashion runway model oh, it just smells so good it, and this is honestly like a perfect like gift candle i gift this candle literally all the time it's like my go-to like if i don't really know you and or if i don't really know like what you like and i know you like things that smell good i'm gonna give you this and what's really good about this candle is it's super unisex so if there's a guy in your life that you can't figure out what to get them i would totally and they're into scents obviously i would definitely get them this candle it smells amazing totally burn this in their place and not feel like feminine at all it's still very masculine but smells really really good and also the flannel one too that one also has like some ma masculine scents in there as well so i would totally recommend these two if you plan on gifting a candle to a, a guy in your life you know but anyways those are all the candles quickly moving in to the wallflowers and i think i got all the same scents as the 
candles so I'm not really gonna talk about these too much so I have like the mahogany teak wood that I love I have flannel in here that I love and then I have the vanilla Noel bean is that what it's called vanilla bean oh excuse me vanilla bean Noel and then one that I didn't mention I actually don't even know if they have a candle for this scent but this is one of my favorite scents I always get this whenever I get the wallflowers and it is the lavender vanilla it is so good like so so good this is something that you can have smelling in your house all year round this is my go-to all year round I always have one either in my bathroom or in my closet or um, like by my trash in my kitchen like I feel like it's just such a good universal scent that you can have all the time it's calming it smells so good if you are ever in Bath and Body Works and you haven't smelled this, give it a shot because I'm sad that I can't smell it right now because I don't have the candle version of it. But um, yeah, I have one in like two of my wallflowers right now and I'm just super into it, okay? I'm super into it. And lastly, I want to talk about my favorite hand soaps and three of my favorite go-to scents. The first one, you guys will probably not be shocked by this, but it is the French lavender scent. It's no secret that I love lavender, you guys. It's so calming to me. I always keep lavender scented things in my bathroom because that's I spend a lot of time in my bathroom, you guys. Like, let's just be honest. I end my day in the bathroom and I decompress in the bathroom. So I want things that will help me decompress and lavender is one of those things for me, okay? So it's fresh lavender with hints of amber. So it has that warm like factor in there. So it's not just straight lavender because straight lavender can kind of be a lot sometimes, but the amber really, really balances it out and makes it a much like warmer scent that you just like, mm. and these scents linger you guys. So the next scent that I really, really love in the hand soap, and this is also not going to be a surprise and it is the mehog mehogany. <laughs> It's the mahogany teak wood. You guys, I'm not gonna go in depth about this because I've already talked about it with the candle and the wallflower for that matter, but it is safe to say I do love this scent and I love it in their hand soap. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna say about this. And the last, but surely not, surely, surely, surely? <laughs> The last but surely not least, my favorite scent for the hand soaps. And I mean, I wonder if they have the scent in the candles. It's the toasted vanilla chai scent. This stuff smells amazing. Like, it smells, and I love the packaging. Like, that neutral shade is just super, super pretty. Mmm, it smells so good. Like, I just recently started getting into chai. I, I don't know, I was doing, like, um, for one of my videos, I think it was, like, the 20 fall questions tag that I did, um, it asked me like what my favorite drink is this time of year and I just said like the basic you know like iced coffee and then that like kind of got me thinking I was like you know what I don't think I've ever even had like chai lattes and like pumpkin spice things like I think I've just always kept like my simple favorite thing never like really branched out so I was at Starbucks one day and I was like you know what let's get an iced chai latte like why not so I did and I quickly fell in love with it like I'm so into like the spiciness in my coffee like I love it so that being said I now love everything about chai like love it love it in my soap love it in my coffee love it in my candle anything love it love it love it love it in case you didn't hear me I love it mm, it smells so good I don't I don't I'm just I'm done. Yeah, it smells amazing. Anyways, you guys, that is all of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works, my favorite candles, my favorite wallflowers, my favorite soaps, all of that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed me rambling yet again about some other products and some other things as I've been doing a lot recently. So I'm sorry if it seems like I'm just talking about buy this, buy that, try this, smell that. You know what I mean? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have smelled any of these, if you like any of them, what your favorite scents are from Bath & Body Works. And if I missed out on any of them, definitely let me know because I'm always into trying new scents. I love, love, love love candles and I love all things that smell good so if I missed anything please let me know in the comments down below I'm always down to try new scents so that all being said thank you guys so much for watching and until next time bye guys